Why is this so zoomed in? Oh, because <laughs> I had it zoomed in, my bad. Sponsored by Girl Scout Cookies. No, I wish. These are so good, though. I'm addicted. Guys, lately I have been so unmotivated. Unmotivated? Not motivated to do anything in life. And as you can see, I'm breaking out. Why? Why am I not motivated? Because I feel like I look like a seven-year-old boy half the time, and I'm really, really over it. <coughs> oh my god, I literally almost just died. Thank god I didn't. <sighs> Anyways, everyone's looking like cute little girlies. Everyone's looking like a Girl Scout. I'm looking like a Boy Scout. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Boy Scouts either. It's just not the vibe I'm going for. So... We're gonna change that today. I feel like genie in a bottle with my hair like this. I know my hair is greasy. That's another struggle I have. It's just really not my year this year. And I know this year just started. Am I even in focus? This year hasn't even started and it's not even my, wait, actually it has started. This year just started and it's already not my year. So today we're glowing up. You guys can't tell by the title um so yeah let's do this if you guys see me looking right here it's because my mirror's right here and yeah if you guys only saw what you guys are sitting on right now it's my chanel box with my biotin vitamins it's fine my life right now is not okay but we're gonna change that we're gonna glow up almost valentine's day still don't have a valentine's it's fine. I am my own Valentine. It's like literally fine. Um, I don't prime my face. That shadow needs to go. What's it coming? Oh my god, I gotta do that. <gasps> Still on my face. Rude. I don't prime my face because I just don't. I'm just gonna go in with my foundation. This is Born This Way in Golden Beige. Anyways, guys, let's have a chat, shall we? I just put this straight on my face. I'm not a beauty guru at all. Ew, I got it on my lip. As you guys can tell, I'm not a beauty guru. So let's have like a little chat. I hate wearing foundation, by the way. What's new in my life? I broke my foot. No, shocker, right? I've never broken anything in my life, but I broke my foot. And if you're like, Natalie, how did you break your foot? Like you don't do anything. I know. It's funny because I don't get out of bed. That's cute. And I'll get out of bed. Yeah, I broke my foot. How it happened was I was actually moving my bed. I got a new bed, just like right here. I used to have like a big loft bed. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's my transformation, my room tour. I don't even know. It's like a room. Redid my room, so go check that out. It's like a room makeover. Whoa, is this light? It doesn't look light in person. Anyways, so I did that and the bed dropped on my foot. Funny enough, so the bed, something I love so much, is causing me so much pain. So I had to go get a boot, like a cast boot. Never had that and it's the hardest thing to walk on. Little old me bumps my feet into everything. When it first happened, my sister actually dropped a box on my foot and it hurt. This is when I didn't have the boot. My sister, um, she dropped a box on my foot and it really hurt. And then my dog, I was like giving her a treat or something and she jumped on my foot. So then that hurt too. So I was already in like a lot of pain. And then a couple days ago, my mom is helping her at work, load something inside her, into her car. And we have like this dolly thing. If you don't know what a dolly is, I'll put it right here. that's a dolly and I went to go pick up the box and the dolly rolled over my toe which that's like what's broken not my actual foot it's just my toe it was horrible the worst pain I think I've ever experienced in my life I'm pretty sure if I ever become pregnant and have a child and deliver the child I think that would be less painful than the dolly running over my foot that's how bad it hurt 
Now I'm going in with, what is this? Fit Me Maybelline Powder in Medium 25. Put this underneath my eyes because I really don't conceal my eyes. I said eyes a lot. I literally take the same brush and just kind of go underneath my eyeball like that. Just so my eyes don't crease. But yeah, that's how I broke my foot. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That was really not even a good story. I know. That's why I'm kind of like embarrassed of when people say like, oh my god, what happened to your foot? You know what I mean? Now I'm going in with this uh, pressed powder by Sephora. I am 36 Golden Fawn. I'm always golden. Stay golden. This is actually a lot darker than my face. And I'm running out of it. But the one I had was the right shade. It's just I dropped it and it shattered. So now I'm scared to open it. So that's always cool and I only like doing this because it mattens my face I feel like I hate being shiny I only like like a little bit of highlighter and this really like sets my makeup wow I look tan um so yeah that's why I put this on my face I just like kind of set it and I just use like the little disgusting little thing it comes with because I lost my kabuki I'm really upset about it we must go down the neck so the boys don't know our face doesn't match our necks, you know what I mean? Anyways guys, I've been doing a lot of haul videos, I know, I'm sorry, but my defense, I can't help it. I hate spending money, like I really really hate it. How do I- oh my god, I lost my primer. That is such an important step for my eyeballs, oh well. It's fine. Oh my god. I also got the new Kylie. I don't know if this is new. I think this is this is the contour in toasty. And then this is the Pink Dreams. This is her favorite. And it's new. She buys makeup now. I've been on like a spending spree. So I'm just taking the Kylie and Toasty contour. Maybe this is what's breaking me out. I don't know. Make the ugliest face when I do contour. I know I do. I look like I'm in pain, but I'm not. I'm just really, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear makeup, really, every day. I don't wear foundation. I literally wear a little tiny bit of contour and blush. I'm taking Kylie Cosmetic Blush in Pink Dreams. This is actually my favorite blush. I like a lot of blush. I used to have this palette and I bring the palette everywhere just because I like the blush and then one day Kylie was nice enough to have like a little bit of a sale. It was like a Gertie. <laughs> I work now. Thank you. So I took the money that I worked so hard for and I bought it. It was on sale so I was like, thank you Kylie. Rise and shine. Hey, is anyone watching the Justin Bieber YouTube documentary? So good. If you are, let me know in the down box below what you think about it because I'm obsessed. I mean, I'm obsessed with him, but like... Okay, so I have this Kylie and Jordan palette. I know they're not friends anymore, but it's a good palette. Then I also have the Nude Huda palette. I'm going to be like mixing colors. And I also have the Toasted Tarte palette. Um, I'm going for like a soft glam look I guess I don't even know what you'd call this oof okay so first color I'm gonna go in with is wife life right here <laughs> right there um I'm going in with this color because it's a nude color and I love this color so I'm just gonna put it on the top of my lid anyways the Justin Bieber um documentary is so good it makes him look like he's like he really like gone, went through stuff and it's so crazy because you don't know what celebrities are going like you don't know in general like what people are going through but with him like I've been following him since he was oof, like starting off on YouTube you know what I mean like the OG fan I was one of them um not to brag but I was and it's crazy because I'd see him every single time he'd come to, my, come to Miami and 
he always like looked happy or like in a mood or like people would say like he's rude and like never in the mood to talk to fans and like all this stuff but it's like it makes sense now why he wasn't like in the mood because he was like battling depression and popping pillies and just like a, I'm not trying to like make a joke about it but like that's crazy like no one knew the nude Huda palette um, I'm taking short let's go no actually I want this brush kind of fluffy brush I'm not like Jeffree Star I don't really know my brushes I just call them whatever comes to mind let's see what do I want to do so I'm gonna go in with play orangey pinky color and I have eyelash extensions by the way okay that like did nothing for me so i'm changing it up i'm gonna go with petty this like actually i don't like this palette anymore we're changing it up i'm going in with toasted because this is kind of what i wanted let's go in with this latte color it's like a brownish matte color i guess you would say i don't know um oh it smells good and i'm just gonna put that like right here i don't know what this is called not really a beauty guru obviously Ew, I need to get my eyebrows done and my eyelashes done. I have my eyelash appointment tomorrow. I'm so excited. The girl who does my eyelashes does an amazing job every single time. I like texted her and I was like, hey, you're gonna kill me. But I broke my foot and I cried and my eyelashes are messed up. And she was like, LOL, I'll put you down for two hours. And I was like, thank you. So, okay, now I'm going in with the nude palette. I'm actually gonna use it. Um, I'm gonna go in with bare this like really white cream color and I'm gonna go in my corner of my eye just to brighten it up I love doing this. It makes my eyes look so much better and I feel like whenever people put like white in their eyes, it makes their eyes like I didn't do my eyebrows So that's always cool. I'm gonna do them now though Me, I'm jumping around. This is really not in order um let me grab this. I'm gonna do my eyebrows right now because they're making me mad. Someone asked me if getting eyelash extensions was like worth it. I would say yes, but only if you can keep up with it. Like keep up with the refills and it, like like cleaning them every single day. Like if you're really lazy and just like wash your face really fast, I don't recommend these. Oh, I'm going in with this done in one brow brow stuff it's in dark brown it's like in this like little tiny pot thing um my eyebrows are pretty bushy I know they're like so different from my sisters my sisters are so thin and I like mine thick not too thick but like thick you know what I mean like my body I'm kidding I wish I was like paper thin that would be such a good day if Natalie Nicole was but it's fine <laughs> It's okay. Um, what are we doing next? Oh, I wanted to do a wing look, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Because actually, I know what I'm gonna do just to spice up the look a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this like flat tip angle brush. Don't know what kind of brush it is. That's just whatever. And then I'm going to go in with I think this is called Secret. Like this purpley, I don't even know, that color. All right there i'm gonna go like right here kind of like a smoky whoa i just saw that in my eyeball you must think like natalie what are you doing like after this makeup is done washing it off yeah now to the lippity doodahs okay finally oh no has this hair been there the whole entire time oh it's attached to my head yay my hair is growing for my lips i'm going in with this urban decay hi-fi shine lip gloss i hate wearing stuff on my lips unless it's chapstick um this is in the color this is in the color spl it's like this like i don't even know it tastes really good and it's sparkly so oh you know what i forgot to do i forgot to do highlight i'll do it i like this because it's like not too much but kind of like a gloss i don't line my lips my lips are pretty small i would say wow i look like a girl starting to look like a girdie okay now for highlight favorite palette is the adeline morin one for highlight i just think this is the best one this is called promise ring it's right there um and i'm using this brush i use it for like everything oof and then i do like a little tiny tiny 
basically all I do. Oh my god. Okay, now I have to fix my hair and put something cute on. This is the finished look. I feel like I should like pin my hair back. Okay. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.